Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replacing them in the Kurfürst at your 10 German battleship. And I found a lovely Hayate there. Well, actually, uh, SJR found a lovely Hayate. And I'm shooting it. And I got 7,740 damage into it, which is pretty nice, honestly. Now, I'm on the map haven. It's a 4 point elimination game. Pure tier 10 with no carrier and no sub. So it might actually be a good one. And my Hydro is obviously running because uh, Destroyer was spotted and I should be able to dodge those torpedoes. Now there is a second Hayate that's inside the sea cap currently and there is even more fish coming. Which, uh, well, I don't know where that's coming from. Wait, does Hayate have like a reload boost? There, was, was there like a buff for Hayate at some point? I don't know. Actually... Yes, Hayate does have a reload booster. You can now, that, that's, I'm not sure when the ch uh, change came of this was with the latest patch, but in a move that shocks everyone, Wargaming has made a decision that's actually good. And you can uh, hover over a ship and you can see the details of said ship, right? Like in the, the team list here. You can see what consumables they could have. You don't see what consumables they have equipped. But for example, if you are unaware if a ship could have radar or not, you can check. So, for example, if we look at the Rhode Island, you can see a Rhode Island could have radar, or it could have misclicked and taken a plane instead. Now, I am gonna get a little bit closer to this island here in front of me, and my Hydro is spotting a Hayate. Now, this is a bit dangerous because a Hayate could YOLO around and try to torpedo me. Then again, I do have a lot of support behind me. So this would be most certainly a one-way trip for any Hayate with a questionable outcome because it might just go down before it can get its torps off or it might just go through them. Now I've seen the Venezia go into the center. The thing with the Venezia of course is it does have torpedoes but it seems to also be smoking so I might be able to come around and shoot it before it can get torps off. Or its smoke could be running out right this second and it can see me a moment there. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it's a shame. I was hoping I would be the one to smack the Venice, but somebody else did. Now I'm... Now the Hayates are actually coming around, it looks like. So I left just in time because double Hayate is now a uh, thing here. They are coming around to potentially torpedo me and the island is not letting me pass. As you can see, I'm pretty far away from the island, but that doesn't uh, interest the game. You remember when Wargaming said that, you know, they would actually make sure that the visible uh, border of the island is the actual border of the island and that you couldn't get stuck and so on. Yeah, they promised that I think over a year ago and obviously they lied because when Wargaming opens their mouth, they usually lie. So that means that I'm now taking an insane amount of damage. Viper is coming in with a smoke screen trying to protect me and it is helping partially because I'm no longer visible, although the ships still keep shooting me. Because if you're stuck against an island, you know, <laughs> it's very easy to predict where you are, I guess. So I took a shit ton of damage, and it's all because of incompetent developers. But be that as it may, I was not taught. My biggest concern was that both Hayates would unleash all of the torpedoes into me because I couldn't get away. But, you know, I think they expected the game to not be this broken. They saw me leaving and they were like, yeah, okay, he's going to be gone before torps arrive, so there's no reason in to try. So I think the, the enemies not realizing just how broken this game is saved my butt, which, you know, at least there is time. Now I'm gonna come around here again. I am still alive, even though I took a bit of a beating, and maybe I'll be able to shoot the Hayate once more, or maybe not. I guess I could shoot the Shikishima. Which is not the best angle, but it's also pretty far away. Now we do have a Montana here as well. But there is also a Rhode Island now pushing into the center. Oh, oh I got the Citadel. See, that's uh, surprising. Hayate is visible. My rear guns are almost ready, so I might be able to get a shot off there. 
and it is sailing in a straight line broadside so there's a decent chance that i'll get a hit or two it's on very low health and well that's two overpens that's something now the other higher tier has been taken down by now meaning if we can get this one it would be very helpful it would deny the enemies any destroyers on this side they obviously still have two on the other side that would be nice now i was hoping i could get the road island more broadside it's a little bit uh well it's turning because of the island in front of it so i might get a bit of uh, an opportunity but it only turned a little bit and i think it's already trying to evacuate there at least i can protect the sea cap by forcing it away now i could turn left once more and go after the republic and the shikishim the thing is I have two friendly destroyers here and two battleships pushing in is something they should be able to deal with, right? Like, if you're a battleship, the last thing you want to do is push into a cross torpedo situation of two torpedo boats. So I trust my uh, division mates to either sink them or at least heavily discourage them. Meanwhile, coming here, I can shoot the broadside of uh, Bourgogne and the Kurfürs. Now I might have moved a little bit too far because I'm getting into a crossfire here. The problem is there is a Smolensk shooting me, so if I had stopped there in the back, protecting myself from the Rhode Island, I would have been farmed by the Smolensk while also potentially not getting a lot of use out of my secondaries. So my theory was I could get a little bit closer maybe to this island. The Rhode Island's guns are not the scariest one in the universe, I guess. The problem is it takes me too long to reach this island, so maybe it was a bit of a miscalculation. I'm hopefully going to sink this road island, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do much else afterwards. Right, I do have a heal once more, but uh, yeah, the road island has switched to high explosive. Because it's armor piercing wasn't doing too much. Yeah, the road island is now leaking, which means the road island can no longer shoot me. The problem is I arrived in this situation a little bit too late, and there are planes out there. Yeah, I forgot about the cruiser. So there is a golden lion, and that golden lion is going to set me on fire. My damage con is on cooldown. Because I was so low, I was forced to damage con earlier, and I'm not going to survive this fire. Well, I can do just a little bit more damage before it's all going to end well it's all going to end for me so this push was maybe not the smartest thing i've ever done then again it could be worse i could be one of those uh i could be one of those <laughs> ships in the back there yeah if you have a look at those right also we really need to speed this up but if you have a look at those ships they are not doing an awful lot are they now Our Petro has at least found a gearing with its radar. Are they going to take care of the gearing? No, they are not. The Montana is now pushing in, which is a little bit late. Like, if those three ships had helped earlier, we wouldn't be in such dire circumstances. Now, it's not all lost, mind you. We are still doing okay on ships, and our division just got distracted. Viper is taking the decap back there, which is pretty good. Now the Montana has been taken out, which is not so good. The Petro is on low health, then Comparable is still sticking a little bit to the rear. And somebody is saying, your best DDs won the game. That's foreshadowing, by the way. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Wargaming for fucking up Pet. Yeah, okay, so there is a Petro who thinks Petros are too weak. That tells you everything you need to know. And he also thinks that it is best that he's won the game. Which I know is exactly what's going to happen. Excuse my foreshadowing here, but... <laughs> I don't think he realized uh, just how right he was. Now SJR has been taken out because he was caught by the Rhode Island Raider. But we still have a Viper. And Viper has taken care of the battleship at his side, and Viper is taking another cap. Now, as you can see, we are ahead on points. There is only three minutes left, and Viper is capping B. Now, the enemy is randomly dropping into the cap, hoping to catch Viper. 
they are not very successful so far, but the Golden Lion is pushing hard and it's getting to. Now, Viper has taken this cap and is now forced away. I would have expected the Shima to actually take C, right? For the enemy team to split up and try to contest us on points. They did not. The Shima actually went B as well. Now, the Rhode Island is coming with a Raider. Viper is stopping behind the Iron because he is raided. The Shima gets a few shots off, but we are already at 980. The enemy Rhode Island can't shoot because of the island. And once the Raider is over, Viper is sailing into the sunset. And it's a win. It's not just a win, it's a win where Viper actually achieved a Kraken and a Solo Warrior well earned. And as the ally has predicted, it were the great destroyers that carried our team to victory. So <laughs> I think he tried to complain about our destroyers, but uh, you know, they won the game because they are good players. So there is that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next time.